This is Mike with Real World Repair, and I'm working on a 700 quad. Um, basically, the situation is this. I've uh, been through a lot of work on this quad. It had, uh, I don't know, a lot of problems. <laughs> it had been lack of maintenance mainly, but uh, <clears> the <throat> reason why I'm videotaping today is that uh, people may or may not have this problem but um it's had an ongoing issue with the throttle cables uh freezing up in cold weather and i'm gonna show you how to eliminate that problem um this is what they what's known as a uh, cable oiler i'm not sure i guess that's what I'm calling it. Um, I don't know what the technical name of it is, but it, it's a device used to put on cables. And what you do is you clamp your cable in here, and it and it forces. There's a small hole here, and this there's several of them that hold the rubber boot in there, the seal internally. Um, but one of them has a hole in it, and that's where you actually put your uh, the tip of your extension for your today we're using breakaway um cycle it's cyclo brand but um penetrating oil um first i ran some dry gas through it because i believe it has moisture in it it froze up and so i just dumped this in the end of the cable because it was quite a bit of space in there and kept dumping a little bit in there and forcing it down through um, and then I used the air gun here with a rubber tip to blow blow it through the uh, cable system. If, if there was any moisture, I'm hoping that that would uh, take the moisture out that was in there. Or you could just let it sit in a dry area for a long time and it'll eventually dry out. But, and maybe that's not even necessary. I'm not sure. I just wanted, I want to make sure this problem doesn't come back immediately because i got to use the quad. So um, basically... <clears throat> run some dry gas through it or make sure the cable's dry and then what I did is I put this device on the cable I put it in the middle I unhooked the uh, throttle here real simple um, basically you just take this snap this cover off wherever it went try not to lose it but I'm pretty sure it's buried here somewhere um, in any case uh, snap the cover off and then you just uh, pull the cable out of here it's got a little notch here that you have to pull the cable beyond that notch and then it pops straight up out of here so that's not a problem and then this thing if you turn it to the right snaps out of there um, I took that all apart just to have more cable access I took the boots off this of course the rubber that keeps the moisture from getting in there supposedly in any case you loosen these two screws up and what you have is you have a internally you have a boot once it focuses um, and if you can see I can pull this out because I have throttle you see how the cables there well this doesn't have a hole in the end for the cable it just clamps around it, the rubber but it, it's a real simple and then you pull it this way I'm gonna try to do this with one hand to get it off the cable see that it has a little slot in the in the boot all the way to the tip so that the the cable itself um, the braided cable internally can be sealed if you look at this device here it's got rubber boot internally i don't know if you could how well you can see that but and it, it's cut to a v right to the center here and that just that slot just allows you to get the cable through it of course once you tighten these it's going to reclose that slot and it's going to seal it this boot internal here will be pretty much sealed the only it is it's actually sealed even from this uh the hole where you uh put the lubricant in is in the center of this boot it has a small little uh flap over the uh, hole in there and so you have to push through that to get your kind of a tricky device but it works um it seals it up to the cable and so when you when you spray your uh, lubricant through the tube it goes into that little hole and you have to make sure you get in far enough so it's going into this uh, 
the cavity in there because there is, like I said, there's a little flap of rubber even inside this uh, I don't know how close I can focus, but apparently not that close. I don't know if you can see the hole down inside there or not. But it seals right to the rubber, I mean to the plastic on this extension. And most all your uh, oils will have an extension tip like this. So just... Uh, you know, make sure when you push this through that little hole that it goes in far enough so that it gets into the cavity. So you can play around with that a little bit. But I've already done this one. Um, and you can see there's, there's oil on this. I don't know how well you can see it, but basically there's, appears to be oil in there. So it did work apparently. So um, basically, once you seal this on there, you just push put your uh, lubricant into that hole, and it forces it through down all the way to the carburetor. Now down in the carburetor, down inside there, um, you can see that I've got. You got to look right past to the left of that round uh, diaphragm cover. About right in the center of the picture is where the cable is and you can see the uh, I pulled the boot up on that as well it's up in there but um, that's the other end and I verified that air goes yeah, I forced some air through it and that I could hear it coming out down here so it is coming all the way through there so um, I sprayed quite a bit of oil through it just to make sure I get it all the way down into the carburetor or you know there's a I've had the carburetor part and there's a, there's a compartment there where the cable hooks up that if some extra oil gets in there, it won't hurt anything. So um, basically, it, uh, it's separate from the carburetor. It isn't internal. So um, not a problem. Just uh, get one of these devices. I think my brother picked it up, I think, from like the Snap-on dealer. Um, but it does work. You don't use it very often. But if you need to have, a, you know, you should probably, if you put new cables on or something, you should always lubricate them. Um, if people don't do that, but it helps you know the cables work better so especially in under cold weather and so forth so um just so you know that's uh that's one way you can lubricate cables you could try to spray it right in the end too but you don't know how good you, you can't really force it through with that uh seal on this uh device i think you got about a lot better chance of getting it all the way down to the bottom and getting it throughout the cable system so probably a good thing to use very easy to use once you get the cables loose or if you have a new cable, you you know you can hook it right up and you can watch the oil come out the other end. So um, just verify you get it all the way through the cable and uh, you're good to go.